Hey, Coach Jesse Minch here with your free ball handling workout. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll have a full guide in text form there for you where you can see all the drills for convenience and also another free workout if you're interested um, for another way to help you improve your game. But to get started off, you're just going to do some dribbles pretty high up about to head height and just swing your arms, get nice and loose. I was a little bit sore from my workout the day before, so this was just a good way to kind of you know loosen up the arms a little bit. The first drill we're going to jump into, though, is going to be just ball taps, keeping your elbow Elbows locked, keep your elbows straight, and just tapping the ball back and forth using fingertip control, not your palms, your fingertips. And you just want to do that up and down 10 times. You're going to start to feel that in your fingers and your forearms starting to get the blood flowing in them. Next, you're going to do some ball wraps behind the back, behind the neck, behind the back, behind the legs, and repeat. You're going to do that 10 times each way. Um, making sure once again of course that you're comfortable in doing all your moves in both directions which you're going to be doing throughout this entire free ball handling workout obviously very important for being effective going both ways in the game I don't normally do a whole lot of ball wrap type exercises in my workouts but for this you know just kind of a warm up get, get you loose get you comfortable with the ball in your hands from there you're just going to do two straight dribbles down crossover two straight dribbles down crossover go ahead and get your 10 reps in again we're you know as we progress we're going to get some some more advanced things and get more difficult right now we're just kind of getting loose getting warmed up and getting comfortable with the ball from there you're going to do 10 reps of just one dribble crossover one dribble crossover back and forth getting your 10 reps in with that once again and you know like i said you know getting comfortable with the ball getting warmed up a little bit and then from there you're going to do the same thing regular dribble crossover but you're going to add this jab step getting the legs involved getting the full body coordination going and starting to you know get the whole nervous system um you know jacked up for you for the rest of your workout so one dribble jab and cross one dribble jab and cross very game specific move this is a move you can use in a, you know a ton of game situations to get past defenders open up jump chops open up passing lanes you name it this next one you're going to do a double crossover and handoff double crossover handoff notice how i keep my hands real low to the ground the whole time i'm crouched down nice nice athletic stance and with the handoff in there too it starts to add a little bit more complexity for you makes you improve on your focus you know being able to do a lot of different things from there you're going to do some nice low behind the back dribbles back and forth you want to do that for 30 seconds notice how i keep my elbows almost right to the sides of my butt the whole time you want this to be almost entirely fingers and hands next drill you're going to do just pivoting back and forth and a double between the legs pivoting back and forth double between the legs you're going to do that with both legs as a as your as your pivot foot 10 repetitions on each foot with a pivot foot so now we're starting to get into some more complex uh, and difficult types of drills uh, a little bit more challenging a little bit more fatiguing this one you're going to go between the legs and behind the back real hard and then float for a second between the legs behind the back hard and float for a second kind of doing like a little hang dribble there floating for a second and then going hard between the legs behind the back making sure you get a little jab in there with the between the legs dribble so right before you go between the legs get a nice jab step in there from there you're going to go into a between the legs push the ball out in front sham god between the legs push the ball out sham god do that uh, uh, both directions once again 10 repetitions each way of this full combination dribble and making sure you stay low and having a high ball in hand time from there you're going to go into spider dribble try to keep your head up really push yourself to work on your speed um, one way you can make sure you're challenging yourself is to try to dribble the ball as low as possible to the ground um, the lower the ball is the hat faster your hands have to move to keep it going from there you're just going to go into a regular dribble spin regular dribble spin regular dribble spin back and forth this is going to be challenging with keeping your balance um, tiring it's going to work on your footwork and work on a lot of aspects once again getting in 10 repetitions total so 10 spins both ways from there you're just going to go into regular dribble sham god regular dribble sham god regular dribble sham god if you like Kyrie Irvin you will definitely want to know how to do this drill Kyrie Irvin does a lot of sham gods zero crosses whatever you call, call, want to call them he does them a lot in his game from there you're just going to go double cross between the legs double cross between the legs and on each between the legs you want to jab right after the between the legs and fake like you're about to drive so after that between the legs jab and fake double cross then you're going to go Tim Hardaway UTEP two-step, basically between the legs, faking hard like you're going to drive, and then coming back harder the other way, pushing the ball out hard with a nice uh, hard dribble, and then retreating back. So between the legs, regular cross, attacking hard, and retreating back. Ten repetitions again. Once again, of course, going both ways. Once again, very, very game-specific move. 
This is a move that is excellent to have in your arsenal. If you're great at going past your defenders by going between the legs, now you add that regular crossover after as a counter, and that gives you one more option uh, for a move you can do on offense. Next thing you're going to do is inside out, hard push dribble forward and hard jab forward, and bring it uh, between the legs from the back. Inside out, hard push dribble forward between the legs from the back. Once again, getting in 10 repetitions, going both ways. Making sure you're comfortable with jabbing with both feet. A lot of people you'll find are comfortable jabbing just one foot or the other. This is going to make sure you're comfortable with both. And then your last drill, we're going to start to incorporate a little bit of passing as well. Just going between the legs, passing it off the wall, catching in the same hands, hand that you just passed the ball with, and then repeat. Once again, get in 10 reps. So you'll be doing 10 passes with each hand. That will conclude your workout. If you enjoyed this workout, make sure you head over to GetHandles.com. I have a full free ball handling workout, another one for you there, and a free ball handling guide. And right here is going to be your full checklist as far as all the, the drills and moves that you saw on this. So, you know, you can use that for a little guide for you. And if, you know, you just want to pause it on this screen, you can go to the gym and just use this screen right here to use as a workout guide for you. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you do just hit, hit the button right there on the screen. I always have new videos coming out every single Friday. And then throughout the week, I'll often put in a lot of other videos, um, all kinds of tips, tutorials, ball handling drills, full workouts like this occasionally, all kinds of great stuff to help you improve your game. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can catch every new uh, tutorial and video that I come out with.